gosh, I love this song. Everything is Turn signal, park between the lines, yes, drop off dry cleaning before noon, read the headlines, don't forget to smile, always root for the local sports team, sports team. always return a compliment, hey you look nice, so do you, drink overpriced coffee, there you go, that's $37, wow, awesome, hey guys, welcome back, uh, this is the uh, fourth episode I believe in my Build with Chrome series. So I just want to apologize for my huge fails last time. There was probably a lot of wasted time and I could have gotten through more challenges. So I apologize. Um, if there are more time trial ones in the future, what I'll probably do is if I'm failing them over and over again like I did the last time, I will probably just skip forward, uh, do a time lapse and just get to the end. So let's continue with this. So our next challenge is... Oh, I have my final test. All right. Bridge over water, house with gun. All right, so I feel like again, this was Morgan's Freeman character in a uh, Lego movie. It'd be great to hear something so profound to get me motivated. I'd say you were fearless. All right. Imagination, the most powerful force ever made available to humankind. Okay, so it looks like I can build literally whatever I want. Okay. <laughs> I could finish with one brick. Now, what I'll do is... Let's think. What should I build? I could build... Something I haven't built before, because I probably... I don't think it would be cool to build a... A TARDIS or a house or anything like that. Um, let's think. Looking around my place right now, just trying to... Trying to build something. Um, since I did other video game systems, like I did my uh, the 3DS, my Game Boy, um, I think a good one to do next, since I have it around, is uh, my PSP. So I'm going to try and do a model view of my PSP. I have one of the original PSPs, um, PSP 1000, or PSP Fat as it's called now. So I'm going to do that one. Um, it might look a bit boxish since uh, the PSP was more of a curved uh, video game system, but I will uh, do my best to make it as uh, realistic as possible. Um, so uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and try and do that for you. All right, um, I might do the same thing I did for my uh, Game Boy, um, kind of do two views. So. Let me go ahead. Wow, as I'm doing this right now, it is just pouring down with rain. Not sure if you can guys can hear it out there, but it's uh, pretty loud. So, oops. so uh, yeah, sitting on top of each other. That's not okay. So yeah. Okay. As I, as I'll do with all my other things, I will take a uh, series of screenshots of it. All right, so it's kind of actually I'll go up another level as well. Wow, that is really loud up there. Um, I'll go up one more levels just to give it a solid base. Like he said, the foundation is the most important part, which is kind of true. I remember playing with Legos as a kid, and you know, if your foundation wasn't solid enough, then everything would just collapse. And yeah, that was one thing that I didn't like. Uh, that I don't quite like about Build with Chrome is that you do have limited pieces, which kind of, I guess, is realistic since. Uh, Since you can't have infinite pieces, and 
Wow, this is a bit challenging to see because of the angles, but I shall be I shall do my best. Alright. Probably won't can the only other game system I might do, which may I probably won't just because it's a bit repetitive to my gaming system models is uh my Wii. Okay, all right. So I think that's a solid base for now. Um, now it looks like there was there's like a more of a silvery base down here. So I'm gonna do this one next. So probably go up two levels. So yeah, if you guys have any ideas for things that you want me to build, um, just feel free to post them down in the comments section. Um, I'll do my best to build them. Not the, I'm not a master builder, but uh, I shall do my best. These challenges were kind of interesting. Um, I'd never done them before, so to go through the Build Academy tutorial I thought was kind of cool. Um, so the next, so this was kind of my first series at this. Um, as I do different things, I'll kind of split them into different seasons so this was kind of season one uh, doing the challenges and whatnot so season two will m start off with uh, me showing you some of my other ones that I didn't get to show you before so a lot of the um, a lot of the oh actually that's what I do want to do. I want to build that out. I'll do that later. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I didn't show, like I mentioned, there's my alarm clock that I did. Um, uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I did a uh, double decker bridge with a cargo boat going underneath. Well, it's a segment of the bridge because you don't have a huge amount of space and you can't actually go outside, as I'll show you. See, so you can't actually build outside of the plate so which is unfortunate because you can build floating things so why can't you build things that just stay up in midair uh, and out to the side but I guess it's kind of limiting um, let's see what I'll most likely do is I'll do um, the front view and then I'll time lapse the other view and then when I'm done I will let you all know so what I'm doing in this side is um, on each side I'm gonna uh, on so th if this is the front this is gonna be the bottom this will be the top so on the PSP they had kind of like this I guess you could call it like a little hook thing around the corner and that's the nice thing is I can perfect so that was kinda like the little keychain hook thing ooh that's so looking at this closely I'm actually gonna take these two out I'll show you why in a sec because uh, the PSP that I have kind of um, had this yellow thing going on, and I'll show you. What I'll do is I'll, when it's all finished, I will uh, take a take a picture of my PSP and of my, uh, and you can compare it to this and uh, you can give me your opinion. This is actually kind of an, I would totally want your opinion on what you, how good you think I did on these. Alright. Uh, that should actually, I'll deal with that when I get to it. Alright, so let's see. On that side, ah, alright, so this back side looked a little bit different. Um, 
So yeah, you might think that the dimensions are a little bit off um, and the scaling, but it's kind of the best I can do. So I'm going to make the bumpers on each side because the PSB had uh, right and left bumpers. I'm going to make them uh, white. as the closest thing to see through. Oh. That's a nice thing, like I mentioned in the last video, controls, control Z kind of undid, undoes, undoes things, undoes things. So it should be more challenging, there you go. I think I missed the two, yeah, there's all right, what I will do is I'll take these two out, check those two bumpers. Right. Okay. And put the middle one. Perfect. So that's going to be your uh, right trigger. Huh. <laughs> find this amusing. I'm looking out my window. The rain's kind of stopped for now. And uh, my neighbor is walking his dog now that the sun's out. Well, the sun's not out, but it's kind of trying to come out again. It stopped raining, which I think is like, kind of amusing. Cool. Alright, so there's the triggers. Um, what else? So there was over here in this corner. There's kind of, let me take this out, there's kind of a uh, this black, th actually, I'll undo that, it's on up here. There's kind of this little black, I think it's part of the wireless um, system uh, for communicating wirelessly, and it, it's black, so I'm going to color that in. Oops. Actually, I'll make it the translucent black, since it's more of a, it's more of that color. Um, and as I'm doing this, I don't like where it's placed, so I'm going to undo that and put it, it's actually closer to the trigger. Right trigger, it's closer to that. Alright, let's go back to here. Alright, so there's that. Now, over here, there was the... Halfway down, there's the micro USB... Uh, no, it's actually a mini USB port. Or is it micro? I actually take that back, it is micro. So I'm going to put that there, that looks halfway. Yep, halfway. And then, I had... There's these two screw holes on each side, which actually I'll make, if I can get to it, there it is, that are actually um, for the, um, so for the case that they made for it, it was kind of like this hard case that screwed into the PSP, which is, I thought was pretty interesting. Um, you know, it's a hard protective case that you can it's so it basically attaches to the PSP and then you open it up. Um, so that was kind of cool. All right, so it looks like I've done that layer. Um, yeah, I feel feel happy with that.